Hello! So, we're going to talk about building a steel string guitar. Um, standard dreadnought um, type steel string guitar, but this is the largest one you can get. Uh, very popular right now. And here is the materials that we're going to use to build this guitar. And I'll go through them. Uh, this is kind of how you would buy them from a luthier supply place. You typically buy a neck set which gives you a large block of mahogany which is used for the heel of the guitar, right where the neck joins the body, and then a longer piece of uh, mahogany which is the neck itself. Eventually these get glued up and done things with to make the neck of the guitar. The um, body of this guitar is going to be walnut and I have a piece of what they call book matched walnut. This is for the back of the guitar. And this is a piece of walnut that was like this and has been taken with a bandsaw and sliced right through this direction. So it opens up like this, and the grain then on the two halves becomes a mirror image of each other. Uh, so that'll be the back. This is uh, quarter sawn walnut. So the, the grain runs this way and straight up and down like this, not on an angle like this. Makes it stronger. Sides are also walnut. Same deal, they are also book matched, like so. You can see down the center there's some lighter wood, um, which is which is kind of nice. We have to decide which which edge we'll have in use there. We'll see. And the top is Engelman spruce. Um, Sitka spruce is used quite often. Uh, it's a little stiffer than Engelman. Engelman um, Eng Engelman is whiter than Sitka. Um, a little softer, a little subtly different tone. Um, some people prefer the looks. It's very clear, straight grained, um, nice, nice tone. Uh, again, this is book matched the same way. Although you have a hard time even seeing the grain in this, see this book matched. We've got a block of Sitka spruce here, and this is used to make all the bracing that will go on the on the soundboard and on the back. This gets cut up um, into the various bracing pieces, and we'll talk about that later. This is a two-way adjustable truss rod, which will go inside the neck to counteract the tension of the strings over the years. You don't get a neck that looks like a bow. I've uh, got a small piece of walnut veneer, which will go on top of the headstock as a decorative veneer. We've got uh, Goto machine heads. These are gold colored, very nice. What are the SG301s, um, which will go on this guitar. We've got a piece of ebony here which is uh, very hard stuff and they sell it in quite long lengths, uh, long enough that you could build a bass guitar with it. Um, for our purposes we don't need that long, you can cut quite a chunk off the end of this, um, which is good because we'll use this piece of ebony um, to make the bridge out of. Now, I don't actually know if I'll use ebony on the bridge of this guitar, we'll decide that when we get to it. I may decide to use walnut instead, but even so we can use that leftover to make the bridge. So you don't have to buy a separate piece of wood to make the bridge out of. Other things you need to build a guitar, and these are samples of them, um, although I don't know if we'll use these actual things for this particular guitar. There's curved lining which goes all around the inside, back, and top. Uh, this is Western Red Cedar that I have used, and it uh, has a triangle cross section, and little curves have been cut through all the lungs. I've done this with a bandsaw, so that it's very flexible, so we can bend it around the uh, shape of the guitar inside. We'll get to that later. Down the center of the back there'll be a decorative stripe and here's a sample of one here. Again, I don't know if we'll use this particular one on this guitar, but we may. We'll see. Probably we will, since I happen to have it. Uh, all around the edge of the guitar you have binding, colored binding. Um, this is Curly Sycamore, this particular piece. We can use four of these. Um, all around the top and all around the bottom. And along with that would be what they call purfling strips, and you can't see this, I'm sure, but um, it's a black and a white and a black piece of wood put together in a very small strip, and it usually runs right along the edge of the binding um, inside the on the edge of the guitar as a decorative type thing. And that's about all the materials you use, uh, other than uh, ferro hardly fret wire, which we have as well, and strings. And ah, one more thing, bone. Uh, the saddle and the nut are made out of cow bone, and we buy blanks for that. And that's about it. Okay, let's get to it.